good morning youtubers I hope you all had a wonderful summer and uh, here we go I'm working on a Kenwood TS 120 S I have the uh, RF unit in front of me here if you're working on a 120 or the 130 they have multiple cold solder joints all over the place plus these become intermittent these switch wafers if you shake them and the radio starts working again guess what that's your problem I took mine out completely out of the radio here because I found while I was working on these wafers that one of the contacts had broken off you could see it get a pointer here you could see it here now I know what you're thinking you're saying hey you just told us it's broken off well as you could see I have repaired it and I'll show you how this was the original one here it the, the second half of it had broken off now I don't I have no idea how that happened I bought this rig second third or fourth hand God only knows but I did um, I found a way to fix this which anybody can do what you need is a good junk box or the next time you go to a ham fest start scrounging around under the table see if you can find any phenolic switches different sizes maybe you can get them for a couple of bucks and when you get home you carefully drill out the little uh, rivets that secure them to the board you, you use a small drill bit so you do not damage the contact itself once you get them drilled out it's very simple what you're going to need I went to my local hobby shop here out across the border to Eastern Easton PA and I picked up some flathead screws 3 8 inch 0 0 dash 9 0 uh, and along with the the nuts and the washers for it the reason you're using such a tiny screw is because what you're essentially doing is I don't have a pop rivet gun small enough that I could rivet these things back on here so what I have to do is use a screw, to, uh, a nut and a bolt to do that and uh, or rather a screw and a bolt a screw and a nut rather and uh, and that's how you affect the change you line it up screw it down you put a little bit of um, thread uh, lock on there and you tighten that down and you fixed your uh, your uh, contact if you don't do it this way you'll, you'll have to go out and spend 50 60 70 dollars for another board to put in here when there's nothing wrong with this switch it can be fixed so the, the thing is you use 00-90 and it goes through the uh, contact and it secures on the back of the board there you could see the screw head there and there's the nut on top right there there's a good shot of that so these can be fixed you can either I haven't tried getting them out of the internet but I'm sure you can but I got it at my local hobby shop here uh, like I say over the border into Easton Easton PA um, it's just a great hobby store and uh, if you've got a hobby store near you check with them because they have tiny teeny little screws these micro screws and that's what you need to fix this and you can get this thing back on the uh, back on the board and soldered in and ready to go same day so it's not that big of a deal if I can do it you definitely can do it so uh, have fun with your brand new 120 or 130 and I've also fixed uh, Heathkit DX 100s this way sometimes the contacts get burnt up or broken uh, who knows what and uh, I fixed it the same way uh, with those bigger units you could use larger uh, larger nuts and bolts like uh, maybe size one or two but uh, these for this small stuff you need the double O the double zero dash 90 and uh, and that's it so good luck have fun we'll see you next time this is WA2 BMB Alex out here in Western Central New Jersey so long till next time